Hi, uh, my name is Mohamed Milham. I'm the director of the melanoma program here at the University of Iowa Holden Comprehensive Cancer Center. Um, everyone just calls me Mo, and I'm here to talk to you today about melanoma. I'm going to start off by drawing the skin, and I think this is a good way to show you how this disease progresses. Um, the skin is made up of two layers, the epidermis, epi meaning above, and dermis, so above the dermis. So this is the dermal layer and this is the epidermal layer. On the basal part of the epidermis lives a cell known as the melanocyte. Melanocytes are very important because they give us our pigment, they give us our skin color, um, they're very important in protecting us against the sun. And that's the culprit in the formation of melanoma, at least that's what we believe, due to UV light. Melanocytes are stimulated by UV light. Too much exposure means people get sunburned. Too little exposure means the melanocytes don't work very well. So a moderate exposure to sun is generally recommended. If melanocytes are misbehaving, they can grow out of control. And this uncontrolled process is the cancer itself, and that is melanoma coming from melanocytes. Melanocytes produce a pigment called melanin, and that protects us against UV light. As cells divide, they initially eat by sucking nutrients from the inside, from the skin itself. But as they continue to divide, or they divide quickly, they can develop a blood supply. This blood supply is a little bit frightening because the cells can travel into the blood and migrate to other areas in the body. These tumor cells can migrate through the bloodstream and reach distant organs, and this is something that melanoma does very well. Um, when we first diagnose melanoma, we do a punch biopsy, and this punch biopsy is very important because it gives us an understanding of what the melanoma looks like under a microscope. It gives us features like how deep it was. The deeper a melanoma is, the more likely it's built a blood supply, because it's bigger, it's actually formed this blood supply and can spread. It also tells us features like whether the tumor was ulcerated, i.e. it had broken through the skin and ulcerated. This communication with blood vessels is important because that's one, another way that the tumor can find its way into um, uh, other organs in the body. Another system that sometimes is manipulated by this particular tumor is the lymphatics. And they can migrate down the lymphatics to what I call the lymph nodes. And the way I picture lymph nodes is like a highway with a bunch of restaurants on the side. What's important to note is that melanoma will respect the lymph nodes and usually go to the first lymph node, which is called the sentinel node. And this is what the surgeons take out to give us an idea of what's happened and whether the melanoma has reached that lymph node. A positive lymph node is a bad sign because it tells us that the chance that this tumor has already spread is quite high. 